so what is up guys welcome back to the channel and we are back with the finale of season six of game of thrones here on the channel episode 10 right here y'all i'm geeked to jump into it i really don't even want to be talking for her. i just want to get into the episode how damn good was episode nine battle of the bastards god damn man Ramsey, oh, <laughs> oh I, I swear I thought John was going to lose that, man. I thought it was over for John once he got out there and he tried to save Rico. I thought I thought uh, Ramsey did a great job of, you know, lure him into that trap. Oh, Sansa comes in handy and saves the day with Baelish and his troops. Thank God, man. And Ramsey got what he deserved. That was so damn fitting for this guy to get ate up by his own damn house. It was awesome. But look, guys, I'm excited for episode 10, so I ain't talking too much. Look, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button right now. Join the major family. Hit that like button. It would do so much <laughs> just hit that like i really appreciate if you smash that for your boy and hit that bell so you guys are not missing future episodes of game of thrones we got live streams coming up at the end of the season and we got more movies we're in the mcu journey and we got other classics that uh your boy should have been watching i'm kind of ashamed that i haven't so i know you guys don't want to miss that so hit that bell but look guys let's do this enough talking episode 10 finale of game of thrones let's go that's major uh, uh, millions on the table that's major uh, Turn dirt into diamonds. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Season six, episode 10, The Winds of Winter. Ha <laughs> ha, let's go, baby. We finally made it to the season finale of season six. God damn. I feel like it, it, we got here pretty quick, though. I feel like usually it takes a little while for us to finish uh, a season, man. But we were, we was knocking this out this time, man. And uh, I'm geeked. I'm geeked. Everybody's getting uh, they dress, they nice clothes on. My dude's putting this only time he wear that stinky ass robe on. That's the first time he only wears that robe on special occasions, and that robe still smells like booty. <laughs> I don't like him. Y'all know I don't like the hot sparrow, but I can't stand him. Oh, that's hey, Tommy looking fly though. We got our girl, man, Marjorie. What's up, girl? This must be a special day. Oh, I wonder if it's Cersei's trial today. Her trial might be today, y'all. That's what that might be, actually. That's why everybody's getting all uh, dressed and ready. <clears throat> yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven chairs. The seven, I'm guessing seven hot septons or something is going to judge Cersei's trial and Loris's trial. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. This dude, been, and he been going through it, man. I feel so bad for Loris. At first, I used to be like, man, why he ain't as strong as his sister? But this man been through some shit in there. He's still up in there, man. I feel bad for old boy, man. He's been going through it, y'all. Damn, I feel bad for Sir Loris. There's our queen. Well, she, they queen. My queen is the mayor, but there's the queen. <clears throat> I'm going to tell y'all right now, man. Uh, God damn, we just, just going to have music playing? Yeah, that's gonna have to be uh that sucks. Gonna block that out there. But yeah, I guess these are the seven hot septons and uh they're they're here to judge their trials. There she is, bro. Man, you could just tell, man. I I talk a lot of ish when it comes to Tommy, y'all, but this man don't want to do that job. <laughs> like, he's just so over it, it seems like. He's like, man, I don't want to do this stuff. If, if it was up to Tommy, all he would do is just keep trying to mess with Marjorie all damn day. <laughs> little freaky-ass little boy. <laughs> so, Lawrence Tyrell, are you prepared to stand trial and profess your guilt or innocence before the Seven? There will be no need for a trial. I confess before the seven and freely admit to my crimes. Damn. To which crimes will you be confessing? All of them. Damn. I lay with other men, including the traitor and Liberathian. I perjured myself before the gods. I am guilty of depravity, 
dishonesty, profligacy, and arrogance. I see that now. I humble myself before the Seven and accept whatever punishment the gods deem just. This shit seems sad as hell, man. The gods' judgment is fierce, but also fair. The warrior punishes those who believe themselves beyond the reach of justice. But the mother shows her mercy to those who kneel before her. Damn, it's some sad shit, man. I take full responsibility for my many sins and unburden myself of my desires. My only remaining wish is to devote my life to the Seven. I will abandon the Tyrell name Damn. and all that goes with it. I will renounce my lordship and my claims on Highgarden. Wow. I will never marry. And I will never father children. Wow. Hell no. Nah. I ask you to dedicate your life to the seven gods. Will you fight to defend your faith against heretics and apostates? I will. Thus. Damn. I feel bad as hell for Loris, man. Damn, I feel bad for Loris. Faith is the way, Father. Wow. Carving that on his head, though? Yo, that's... Oh, damn. That's... Oh, damn, bro. That's... That's wild. Hell nah. I wonder why the hot sparrow ain't got that on his head, though. If everybody else got it, why he ain't got it? That's damn. That's that's wild. The fucking mountain. What the hell is the mountain doing there? I have to go. I'm late for the trial. What the fuck is happening? Why is the mountain even there, though? My, oh, that. See, that is. Him. You gave me your. I've kept my word. Yo, already starting off. This is so damn deep, man, guys. I, I, I feel bad. Like you, you, the emotions, like you feel for like Loris right now, man. Like everything that man been through, man. But damn it, I don't, my man over deserve this, man. He did not deserve all that. Didn't like they gonna put that seven on his forehead? Oh boy, ain't deserve that, y'all. Like in. You hear what Marjorie's saying? Like you, you, you mutilated him, man. You, you agree like to some? This cat, I can't stand the high sparrow, man. And why this dude don't got no damn mark on his forehead? Like that, this is just wrong, man. But what's going on with the um with uh, uh Tommen and the mountain? Why is the mountain like you know uh, stopping Tommen, stopping Tommen right now? Little birds right there. What the hell? What you what you doing, little bird? Little that's a little bird, right? Little whispers, little dudes. I remember his little ass. He's the one who got that chocolate and was happy. He asked for the chocolate. These little birds be everywhere. Uh, bro, I'm not chasing no little dude in no tunnels. What is wrong with you? Man, I'm like, I don't know what this little dude think he's taking me, but peace. Shit, this little dude crazy. Yeah, I ain't about to go in no dark ass tunnel with you. Where's the king? Elsewhere, I'm afraid. What's the meaning of this? I was told that... Huh. Please forgive me if you can. Yo, hold up. Wait, what the hell's going on, bro? And you still following this little dude? What is wrong with you? Oh, hell nah. It's all them birds in there. And they looking hungry as hell. Not like for his body or nothing, but like they look like they about to get some money. <laughs> yeah, they about to, yeah, they about to burk Parcel, bro. <laughs> they about to burk this food. Lord, oh, you about to get burk, bro. Your faults, you did not deserve to die alone in such a cold, dark place. Oh, no, he did. But sometimes before we can usher in the new, the old must be put to rest. Hell yeah. 
Go ahead and get him. Oh, damn. Here come the birds, baby. Let him have it. Let's go. So hold up. If they kill him, bro. Peep game, y'all. I just peeped it. So they just said, you hear what Ky Kyburn said. If we got to get rid of, to start a new, we got to get rid of the old. What's happening, bro? What the fuck is about to pop off? But I said it was done, bro. Them little, them little birds, man. They got hella knives, man. They about to chop him up. Like, chop sushi. And then what's going on with this other little bird? That's, I remember this little bird. He was chasing. He was the first one to ask about that chocolate. About Varys giving him chocolate. So what is he? Where, I'm just pleasure playing. Where is he doing? And why is this dude following? Why is Lancel following this dude? Bro, you, my man Lancel going. Here we go. Oh, yeah. They got his ass. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn. Holy shit. I don't know I like that though. Pasel deserve that. I don't like Pasel, y'all. So it is what it is. This dude, Lance, so crazy as hell. First of all, I'm not first of all, I'm not chasing no little dude. I'm not chasing him in no tunnel. I'm not crawling in no tunnel. He done lost his mind. As soon as that man would have ran into that little dark ass tunnel, I'm like, whoop, this is where my chase ends. I'm gonna go get Cersei. The hell I'm looking like chasing this little dude. Oh. Damn. Got his ass slipping. Yeah, that's definitely a little dude. Yo, these little birds are freaking like savages, man. Holy fuck. Yo, is that a, what's that green stuff from Blackwater Bay that Tyrion used? Hot fire, wildfire. I think it's called wildfire, hot fire, hot, chili fire, chili peppers. I don't know, but it's called something. Yo, Cersei, what is she doing, bruh? Something about to pop off, y'all. Bro, that is wild hot fire. That's fire. That's wildfire, bruh. That's wildfire. Hell, that's the shit uh, Tyrion used in the Blackwater shit. And there's a lot of it. Oh, my God. Yo, it's candles burning on the wildfire. Oh, yeah, dog. Oh, it's a wrap. You ain't making it. Bro, it, it, they about to, it's about to blow up. It's about to blow up. The wildfire's about to blow up. But where the fuck is the wildfire at, though? She about to do that crazy stuff the Mad King did. The Mad King said that he was going to blow up the whole damn city at the end, bro. She about to blow up the whole city, bro. Except for the keep. She about to blow up the whole city except for the keep, y'all. Oh, oh shit! Damn! Oh shit! Holy fuck, bro! She's just destroying the city. God damn, Cersei! Her crazy ass. She's so fucking crazy. I'm the same way, Tommy. What the fuck just happened, bro? Bro, she just blew up the whole set and everybody in it. And it like blew. It killed people miles away from it, too. Hold up, man. Let's take a second. Man. Tears in my eyes, man. Shit's getting real. It's only 20 minutes in the movie, me in the episode. What does that even possibly mean, though? Like, do I... Oh, my... I, it feels like... It feels like, yes, I'm happy Cersei got her revenge on the... I didn't care about Pacel, so Pacel had to go anyway. So, that's whatever. Um... But Marjorie didn't deserve that shit, bro. Sir Lords didn't deserve that ish. They didn't deserve that. Kevin Lannister, her uncle, I, don't, I already never liked the dude. The dad, I don't like. I don't like Marjorie's the Tyrell's dad, man. He's so soft, man. But man, he don't deserve that. It's a lot of people, them innocent people in there that didn't deserve it. Only people who deserve that was those them, the uh, the fanatics, the, the the High Septon, and all his little followers and shit. They didn't. She didn't have to kill all them people like that. She blew up the whole Septon, bro. I, how do I? How do I supposed to feel? I'm, I'm like I'm happy at the same time, but then again, it's like 
I, I I don't fuck with that. Like I don't like her. But at the same time, I'm happy she did it. She she got rid of the hot sparrow, man. Like that uh, that dude had to go, man. But damn, that makes like that makes this interesting, man. Because now it's like. I was rooting for Cersei to get her revenge. She got her revenge, but, I mean, she took out a lot of casualties in the meantime, man. Goddamn, Cersei. No wonder the mountain was holding Tommen back, and uh, he didn't want Tommen to leave. Man, she put all... First of all, how the hell did she get all that wildfire down there, man? Wasn't that wildfire in, like... Was it always down there? Actually, when Bran and... Uh, I said Bran. I've been calling him Bran for a while. My bad, y'all. Bran. Bran and uh, Tyrion went and got it for Blackwater, and the one the dude was telling about how the Tar uh, Targaryen used to use it, or the Mad King... Was it, is that where they went down there to get it under there? I think that's what they did. I thought they wanted to go, yeah, maybe that's where they did go get it from. So she just let all that shit on. Maybe it was always there anyway. I can't remember. I got to go back to that episode of Braun and Tyrion when they got it for Blackwater, but I, maybe it was always there. That's fucking crazy, man. Holy fuck. Confess. 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 Yo, no, 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 yo, Confess. yo, that's the, that's the lady who was saying shame, <laughs> oh, yes, Cersei, yes, yes, get your revenge, girl, I'm loving this right here, though, yeah, what's up now, girl, Confess. it felt good, yeah, beating me, uh -huh. loving me, what now, crazy tall lady, you ain't scared nobody no more, you didn't do it because you cared about my atonement, you did it because it felt good. I do things because they feel good. Fuck, this just feels so good, bro. This feels so damn good. Let's go. I drink because it feels good. I killed my husband because it felt good to be rid of him. Crazy ass. I fucked my brother because it feels good to feel him inside me. All right, that's a little much. We didn't need all that. I about fucking my brother. Oh, yeah. Keep it to yourself now. Because it feels good to keep our son safe from hateful hypocrites. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Skip all that, Cersei. We don't want to hear all that now. We don't want to hear about some Jimmy. Ice sparrow. <clears throat> and all his little sparrows. All his septons, all his scepters. I fucking love this, y'all. Y'all understand. I love this. God damn. I said my face would be the last thing you saw before you died. You did. Ago. Yes, you did. I remember. Hey, I remember, Cersei. I God. remember. Glad to see your face. I'm ready to meet the gods. What? Now? Today? You're not going to die today. You're not going to die for quite a while. Sir Gregor. Holy shit. <laughs> this is Sir Gregor Clegane. <laughs> He's quiet too. <laughs> Holy fuck. This is your god. Oh, 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 what did he say? Wait, no, wait. That's a lie. I pa I paused for no reason. I thought that they said the Kyburn said he will not speak until all your your so, your people who did harm to you or something like that pay. But he took his helmet off, and I thought that's what I was thinking. Like he took his finally he took his helmet off, so this was the last enemy. But goddamn, bro. Now. This is your god now. <laughs> his name is Clegane. You guys told me in the comments. I forgot his first name. Sir Gregor Clegane. Look at his crazy ass. He looks scary as hell, bro. Oh my lord. Oh, yeah, it's over. Oh, my God, girl. Shame. <laughs> Shame. Shame, girl. Shame. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, starting off. 24 minutes in, this is one of the best episodes I've watched so far. This is the best episode so far for me, man. No, it's not, but it's up there. It's up there. Holy shit, we only 24 minutes in. I can't stop blinking right now. Yo, how awesome was that get back, though? She didn't take out the hospital. Didn't like that she took out everybody, but I get it. Um, 
I didn't like that though. I didn't like that. But she got her revenge on the hot spring. All that it did to her. Cersei is going back to being the savage villain that I hate. But at the same time, it feels good to she get her revenge. And then she gets that chick. I thought that lady was in the septum with everybody. Man, they got her out of there. And then she said, oh, you going to think you died today? Oh, no. You're not going to die for quite a while. Like, I'm going to make you suffer. You thought you was about to get a quick death? Oh, my. And then she walks out on some. But that's the most. Yo. Oh, I don't like sir, but that's the most boss shit I ever seen, bro. Shame. Shame. Yeah, shame. Sir Griffin take off his helmet. I know y'all oh, when he done walked in that room, man. I know she was like, y'all. <laughs> Just imagine what he doing there to her there. Probably breaking off her fingers, ripping off her fingernail. I don't know. Something crazy, bro. This is crazy. Oh, this is crazy, y'all. I'm very sorry, you're great. <sighs> Episode 10 is starting off crazy. Starting off crazy, man. This shit is wild. Oh my god. Oh, this is fucking crazy, man. Oh, I'm loving this. God damn. Episode 10 is a banger, man. Oh, I'm crying and shit, man. Damn. <clears throat> shit got me crying, y'all. Leaking heavy, man. So much excitement, you feel me? Oh. Oh! Yo! What the fuck? This man told me just jumped out his window, y'all. God damn. I did not see that coming, man. What the fuck? Damn. He over it. That man is over it. My man said, forget all this shit ain't worth it. Yo, he just committed suicide, man. Tommy has just killed himself. This man is young, man. Holy shit. I know we talked a lot about Tommy, man, but I didn't want to see him go out like that. I don't want to see him die, man. Maybe just give him some better counsel. You know what I'm saying? To, you know, help him reign better. But that's not cool, man. That's not cool. That's crazy. And now this 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 makes me wonder a little bit because we talked in the uh we we talked a lot and we talked about how um they aged up the we aged up they aged up uh the character that made him look older because he married Marjorie. But it's crazy because I wonder now I wanna know because I know he was much younger in the books. I wonder if he really did he really do this. Like, that is, bro, that's nuts, man. So what does that mean for the, let's just keep watching, man. I did not, yo, what the, f yo, <laughs> oh my God, man. And I said that in the be before, I was like, man, this man looks like he just doesn't want this position. He just doesn't look like he wants any more to do with this, man. He's like over it. Like, he just wants to just be with Marjorie and that's it. Like, he don't want to rule. He don't want, he, man, my man just said, fuck all this. I'm done. I'm tired. I'm over it. Everything he didn't, he thought was right. He was doing the right thing by, you know, punishing his mom and all that. And, you know, following the hospital's lead and Marjorie, everything just got wiped out from him. The people he was, oh, everybody. And he's just like, fuck, I ain't got no more. I ain't got nothing left in my tank. I'm done. His mom is just evil and she ain't never going to change. And that's the most evil shit ever. He can't come back from that. But damn, y'all. Rest in peace, little man. For real. Rest in peace, little man. God damn. For house. Frey! This came together rather well. I fucking hate Frey. Ugh. Your father would But I understand be his whole thing, though. Sure he would be. We have uh, talked Ed about Mio's it. back in the cell. Damn! Can't go killing my son by law. Wouldn't be right. Give the family a bad name. <sighs> so the famous blackfish killed by foot soldiers, eh? Legendary warrior, everyone said. Have you done much fighting yourself, Lord Frey? I'm uh, a bit old for all that. No, but back in your day. The purpose of fighting is defeating your enemies, isn't it? So he did no fighting. I defeated mine. He did no fighting. River Run belonged to House Tully for a thousand years. Now it's mine. What do you call that? Victory. Yes. You're a great conqueror. Go on, mock me, boy. You think I mind? Here we are now. Two kingslayers. We know what it's like to have them grovel to our faces and snigger behind our backs. We don't mind, do we? He don't like fear that shit. It's a marvelous thing. Jamie did not like that. They don't at fear all. the phrase, though. They fear the Lannisters. Mm -hmm. We need the Riverlands to hold the Riverlands. If we have to ride north and take them back for you every time you lose them, why do we need you? Facts. 
Facts. He ain't like that shit. You better get your stuff right, Frey. Water. Walder Frey. I'm gonna call you Walter with your bitch ass. Yo, guys. I don't know. Jamie ain't like that at all. You can tell in the way his face. He ain't like being called. He do not like being called Kingslayer. And I seen one of the things that was very interesting um, that you guys said to... Um, we talked in the comments and... Um, Shout out to you. If you guys didn't know all the, uh, the moderators, man, shout out to all of them because y'all don't know. We got Ashley, we got uh, Kimberly, um, and then we got Helian. So if you guys didn't know that, man, shout out to them and what they've been doing. They've been doing an awesome job, man, in the comments. And I want to just say thank you guys so much for everything you guys been doing. And if you did, guys didn't know them, make sure you guys show love because they've been doing uh, a great job in there. Uh, but look, one thing I got to say is that this this – we seen. I was talking to you guys in the comments, and somebody said like you can see in Jamie's face, he was, um, he was, he was kind of he wanted that approval from Blackfish because Blackfish was a great soldier, a warrior from his past time, and I think that right there, um, kind of you can see it in his face. He was like he, when he said like uh, he was a uh, when Water Frey said he was like a great warrior, and he died by foot soldiers or whatever. And that's when you know Jamie was like you know have you ever did any fighting your day? Like you know what I'm saying like. Man, don't try to like I don't don't drag on him like don't kind of shit on him because he was a great and I think I think that was one of the guys you guys told me that what that uh, Jamie thought was the, his hero it was Blackfish and uh, the dude we seen in the uh, vision um, Arthur Day and stuff I think that's the two you guys and I think maybe Sir Barrison I'm not too sure but I know you guys said he had heroes and uh, he he wanted that acceptance by him so seeing that you can tell Jamie still have respect for Blackfish even though he went out but he respects him because the way he went out yeah he died from foot soldiers or whatever water free sand but he went out fighting to the end he didn't give up he didn't submit he didn't no he fought to the end man as an older guy and he still did it he might have chopped down a couple he might have chopped down one or two who knows who he chopped down but he you know he he went out fighting and uh i love that and that's why i think jamie was like yo he had to check water Frey too at the same time what are your thoughts concerning the king's funeral as the sept of baylor is no longer an option perhaps a ceremony in the throne room Damn, I know she. Be with his grandfather, his brother, his sister. Burn him. Damn. Bury his ashes where the sept once stood. Damn. Why is she so savage right there, y'all? He, she said like he belonged there. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you guys, what do you guys think of that? Like. He belonged there with like him. Like it seemed like she she was hurt by it. At the same time, she didn't seem like she was that hurt by it. Like of him getting, you know, him passing away. Um, that's that's interesting, man. And you know, she loved her children. Obviously, she protected him from the sept. But that's why she didn't let the mountain get him over there. But it, it begs the question. Damn, Sam and Gilly has reached Old Town, y'all. It, it begs the question of. Why she like, maybe, she, I don't know, man. Maybe it's best for him because he was like weak and he was, you know, I don't know. Maybe, I doubt that she hates her son though, like to feel that way, like he's weak and he deserved that because she definitely didn't deserve that, but Hello. he's been through a lot. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about Cersei here in the, um, in the comments, man. Why she, how she, why she feels that way. I feel like she should be more hurt. Lord Commander Snow at Castle Black. Well, this guy is kind of a dick. I'm, I'm to be the new maester. All the history of Westeros. I'm sure they got Essos up in there, maybe, you know? Just everything. That's that's pretty awesome. Everything, man, has been written down. And you would be thinking about that, like, because a lot of history was, you know, destroyed. And we talked about this, you know, while we lost a lot of history. And a lot of you guys said the Alexandria Library. Alexandria Library. Um, and it's awesome to see all this. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Yes. 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 Everything. That's like, damn, it looks like everything from the beginning of the time. And it ain't that long since the time started. So look at all those books, man. Holy shit. That's incredible. That's a beautiful ass library, y'all. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. Astonishing. Oh shit. It's a rap. I wonder if he found out. It's a rap. What is that? Tell him. 
Ah, shit. Tell him who it belonged to. Let's go. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, man. The Princess Shireen. Tell him what you did to her. Tell him! Oh, my God. We burned her at the stake. <clears throat> Jon Snow is alive. Because the Lord willed it. I loved that girl like she was my own. Hell yeah. She was good, she was kind, and you killed her! So did her father. So did her mother. Her own blood knew it was the only way. The only way for what? They all died anyway. That's true. You told everyone Stannis was the one. You had him believe in it. All of them fooled. And you lied. I didn't lie. I was wrong. Aye. You were wrong. How many died because you were wrong? Big facts. I mean, she didn't. She got some bodies, bro. She got some bodies. I ask your leave to execute this woman for murder. She admits to the crime. Right south today. If you return to the north, I'll have you hanged as a murderer. If you ever come back this way, I will execute you myself. I feel that shit, sir. Devils, bro. It was only a matter of time before he figured that out. You're the lady of Winterfell. You deserve it. We're standing here because of you. Mm. Power was lost until the Knights of the Vale rode in. Yeah, let's talk about they that. They came because of you. Let's talk about it. You could have said something, Sansa. You told me Lord Baelish sold you to the Boltons. Mm-hmm. He did. And you trust him? Only a fool would trust Littlefinger. Should have told you about him. Yeah, you should have. About the Knights of the Vale. I'm sorry. We need to trust each other. We can't fight a war amongst ourselves. We have so many enemies now. The North remembers, baby. Hey, the North remembers, baby. What's well, up? Father always promised, didn't he? <laughs> Hell yeah, he did. Winter's coming. Man, man, what's up, man? I know it got to be something behind that, more behind, deeper meaning to that. Like, because they always kept saying winter is coming. That was their thing. And it, it, the White River came, winter is here. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Damn, that was deep right there. Loved it. Loved it. Um, Yeah, she got to go, man. Red lady. She got to get up out of here. Um, What else? That whole little scene right there, I want. I, I was, I was, I've been waiting to see what, how did John feel about that? Like, how did he feel about, you know, Sansa? Um... You know, not not betraying him because she didn't betray, him, but like letting him know what was up. And uh, we talked a little bit in the comments. And my my thing, my whole thing was, and we were talking that she could have said something. Like she, I felt like Sansa had to know, bro. Like even if she didn't know the day, like she didn't know the before, but Sansa had to know that day, like the day of the battle. She knew she had to know. Why didn't she say nothing to John? They could have like maybe if she had told him, they could have like set this up so much better where they could have lured. Um, Ramsey's men in like they like you know they pretty much did but like in a way and then like had them attack um and then had like Baelish attack from a certain angle or something so they can lose less men they lost a lot of men man they lost a giant they lost a lot of wild like I didn't like that like I feel like she should I feel like some sauce is sneaky I know but she should have told him man like they lost a lot of like men that they shouldn't have to lo like men they shouldn't have lost because of uh, Sansa but they won the war I'm I'm happy they won. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm happy they won the battle, but I feel like they could have did it a better way. Now, saying this is, well, I don't know if when she saw Sansa know, but I feel like, my opinion, I think Sansa knew when she told him, when she told uh, old boy, Ramsey, like, you're going to die tomorrow, Ramsey, and whatever. And then she just wrote off. 
I feel like she knew right in there. I feel like she knew right in there. But then, like, later that day or later that whatever time at the camp, she was telling John, like, we need more men. We need to wait if we go here. But then it's like, okay, maybe she didn't know. But then I'm like, man, she had to know because why would she say that? Maybe she just said that out of anger because she just wants him dead. I get it. And then she was still worried about it when they were talking in, the, like, about the advisors and stuff. Like, saying, like, you know, these are the people you're advising you and you need more men. So maybe she didn't that she did. But she did have to know the day of. I feel like she could have saved a lot of men that way, man. But that's just my opinion. Time, and I just wish she would have did because we lost a fucking giant off that. A hundred red scorpions, was it? You have nothing to fear from us, Lady Olena. A lady Olena and Dorn? Your prince. But you expect me to trust you? Thanks. We invited you to Dorn because we needed your help. You came to Dorn because you needed our help. What is your name again? Barbara? <laughs> Obara. Obara. <laughs> Look like an angry little boy. Don't presume to tell me what I need. <laughs> Forgive my sister. Let's go. What she lacks in diplomacy, Do she makes... shut up, dear. Anything from you? <laughs> no. Good. Let's go, Lady O. Women speak. Hell yeah. Let's go, Lady O. The Lannisters have declared war on House Tyrell. They have declared war on Dorne. We must be allies now, if we wish to survive. Yeah, her whole family got wiped out. Cersei stole the future from me. Yeah. It is not survival I offer. It is your heart's desire. And what is my heart's desire? Vengeance. Fucking Varys. Varys. Fire and blood. Daenerys. Oh my god. I gotta stop pausing it, but damn, y'all, we gonna pause it one more damn time. Yo, Varys, oh, <laughs> let's go, man. Varys just got Lady O, the Tyrells, High Garden. If he can, they back uh, Daenerys, and then uh, Dorn backs Daenerys. It's over, man. It's over for the Lannisters. Ain't got nobody. Who, who's, who's rocking with the Lannisters now? Nobody. The Lannisters is all by themselves, man. They got a big army though, cause I think Jamie got like eight thousand troops or something crazy. But yo, well, I guess they got the phrase, but the phrase ain't worth shit. I mean, maybe. But no, they, they all. Oh, this is yo. This is setting up to be a freaking overthrow. This ain't even gonna be like Daenerys even gonna have to conquer nothing, bro. She's just gonna have to come in and just be like white, white, white. Like, cause it's going to, it's so, her numbers are going to be massive compared to theirs. So nearly ready. This is nuts. I'm nuts. I'm curious to see how the Dothraki do on the poison water. You're not coming with us. Damn. New strategy? That sucks. You want the second sons to attack from the west coast? Well, if we take Casterly Rock, the Lannisters will have nowhere to run when you hit King's Landing. You're not going to Westeros. Damn! You're staying here with the Second Sons. Damn, that's dirty. There's finally peace in Marine. You will keep the peace while the people choose their own leaders. The best way to make alliances is with marriage. Mm. Who the fuck are you going to marry, though? Ain't nobody to marry over there. Who are you marrying this time? I don't know. Maybe no one. But you need to lure the noble houses to the table. Are you a queen or fish bait? Oh, he's doing shots. He hurt. I can't bring a lover to Westeros. He's hurt. A king wouldn't think twice about it. So that's what you want? To be my mistress? I'm not proud. I, I don't care what perfumed aristocrat sits beside you in the throne room. I don't want a crown. I want you. I feel that, bro. But you want that crown, though. Shit. I want that crown, too. If I was you, I'd be like, shit, I want that crown, too, man. Come on. Just at least you. name me prince. And I make you happy. You know I do. Bring me with you. Let me fight for you. I can't. Mm. She stayed firm on that, bro. Damn, that's 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 heartbreaking, dog. Stay your ass in the ring, bro. The dwarf told you to do this. No one tells me to do anything. Big a fellow. Can't argue with his logic. I'm no use to you over there. Don't get angry. I'm not angry. I'm full of self-pity. Who comes after you? Who can ever follow Daenerys Stormborn, the mother of dragons? A great number of women, I imagine. How did he take it? No tears. Tyrion did tell him. Tell her. Man, the Tyrion was up to it. It was hard for you. You 
turned away a man who truly loves you because he would have been a liability in the Seven Kingdoms. That's the kind of self-sacrifice that makes for a good ruler, if it's any consolation. Yo, this is nuts, bro. Like, damn. No, I suppose not. I'm terrible at consoling. Yes, you really are. Yeah. Do you know what frightens me? You just had to throw that in there. I said farewell to a man who loves me. A man I thought I cared for. And I felt nothing. Just impatient to get on with it. He wasn't the first to love you. And he won't be the last. Damn, Terry, you love her too? Thirsty ass. I mean, she is beautiful though. Look at Terry well, looking at her. You have completely failed to console me. For what it's worth, I've been a cynic for as long as I can remember. Everyone's always asking me to believe in things. Family, gods, kings, myself. I, um, I had something made for you. You got it up in there, girl. I'm not sure if it's right. What's that? Wow, it's the hand of the king symbol. I mean, hand of the queen. I name you hand of the queen. Wow, that's balls. Hell yeah. He deserves that shit, though. I mean, who else? Varys? I mean, Varys could, but Varys, I don't think, I think Varys would take it. That's awesome, man. He did. He was a good. He he, he was really good at handing the king in the, um, um when he was handing the king. That's a uh, that's awesome, man. That's awesome.